Dr. Arroway, you come to us with no records, no artifacts, and a story to put in mildly strange credibility. Trillions of dollars have been spent, dozens of lives have been lost. Are you going to sit there and expect us to take this all in on faith? Is it possible that it didn't happen? Yes, as a scientist, I must concede that. I must volunteer that. Oh, wait a minute, let me get this straight. You admit that you have absolutely no physical evidence to back up your story. Yes. You admit that you may very well have hallucinated this whole thing. Yes. You admit that if you were in our position, you would respond with the exact same degree of incredulity and skepticism. Yes. Then why don't you simply withdraw your statement and concede that this journey to the center of the galaxy, in fact, never took place? Because I can't. I have an experience. I can't prove it. I can't even explain it. But everything that I know as a human being, everything that I am, tells me that it was real. I was given something wonderful, something that changed me forever. A vision of the universe that tells us undeniably how tiny and insignificant and how rare and precious we all are. A vision that tells us that we are a part of something greater, that we are not, that none of us are alone. I wish that I could share it. I wish that if only for a moment everyone could feel that sense of awe and humility and hope. That continues to be my wish.
died on a Saturday morning. And I had you placed him under our tree. Mama always said that dying was a part of life, but I'm sure we should was it. Jenny, I don't know if Mama was right or if it was Lieutenant Dan. I don't know if each of us has a destiny or if we're all just floating around accidental like on the breeze, but I think maybe it's fun. I think maybe both is happening at the same time. I miss you, Jenny. If there's anything you need, I won't be far away.